Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a squared plus b is equal to 73 and b squared plus a is equal to 73. We need to find all possible values of a and b. So, let's start. We name this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. So, left hand side of equation 1 is a squared plus b minus left hand side of equation 2 is b squared plus a is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is 73 minus right hand side of equation 2 is 73. Now, we remove these brackets. So, a squared plus b minus b squared minus a is equal to 0. Now, we rearrange these terms. We write this in negative b squared with this a squared. So, this expression will become a squared minus b squared minus this a plus this b is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms, uh, negative a plus b, we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 as common factor and in bracket left, a minus b is equal to 0. Now, this expression a minus b, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b and in bracket left, in bracket left this a plus b and this negative 1, in bracket left a plus b minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation, we make b the subject of this equation. Then, b will be equal to a. From this equation, if we make b as a subject of this equation, then b will be equal to 1 minus a. Now, we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared plus b is equal to 73. Equation 1 is a squared plus b is equal to 73. We write this equation 1 here a squared plus b is equal to 73. First, in this equation, we replace this b with this a. Then, this equation will become a squared plus a is equal to 73. Now, we move this 73 to the left hand side. Then, this equation will become a squared plus a minus 73 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. So, a will be equal to negative value of b is 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 73 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next, a is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this uh, 1 squared is equal to 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 73 is plus uh, 292 divided by this 2 times 1 2. Next, a is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 
square root of this uh, 1 plus uh, 292 is uh, 293 divided by 2. Now, because B is equal to A. Since B is equal to A, so from here we get the value of B is equal to this same value negative 1 plus or minus square root of 293 divided by 2. Now, in this equation we replace this B with this 1 minus a, then this equation will become a squared plus 1 minus a is equal to 73. Now, we rearrange these terms and move this 73 to the left hand side, then this equation will become a squared minus a plus 1, this positive 73 will become negative 73 is equal to 0. Next, a squared minus a plus 1 minus 73 negative 72 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable. So, we can solve it by factorization. We write this a squared a squared and we split this uh, negative a, we split this negative a as negative 9 times a plus uh, 8 times a minus 72 is equal to 0. And from these two terms, we can factor out a in bracket left a minus 9. And from these two terms, we can factor out plus 8 in bracket left a minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, this a minus 9 and this a minus 9 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus 9 and in bracket left, in bracket left this a and this plus a, in bracket left a plus a is equal to 0 and from here either this expression a minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression a plus 8 is equal to 0. From this equation a is equal to 9 and from this equation a is equal to negative 8. Now, to find the values of b, recall that recall that b is equal to 1 minus a. Recall that b is equal to 1 minus a. b is equal to 1 minus a. First, in this equation, we replace this a with this 9, then b will be equal to 1 minus 9 and b will be equal to negative 8. Now, in this equation, we replace this a with this negative 8, then b will be equal to 1 minus negative 8 and b will be equal to 1 plus 8 and b is equal to 9. So, from here we get two pairs of solutions a is equal to 9 and b is equal to negative 8. When a is equal to negative 8, then b will be equal to 9. And two pairs from this equation. So, the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to first pair from here is negative 1 plus square root of 293 divided by 2 comma same value of b negative 1 plus square root of 293 divided by 2. The second pair is negative 1 minus square root of 200, 293 divided by 2 and same value of b negative 1 minus square root of 293 divided by 2. 
and two pairs from this equation 9 comma negative 8 and negative 8 comma 9 this is the final answer of this equation